Alrighty, how good. Back out on the kayak with uh, Jordan. He's a bit slow today. He's all the way back there, but should be a killer session anyway. Hopefully get some squid, King George. Be frothing if we get some King George. Let's see how we go. You. Start. You're on a nice one, are you? It might be a cuddle. It's the uh, Gancraft UV Sand, one of the best performing jigs in this location. Just an excellent jig all around. Pinned in pretty nicely in the tentacle there. That's some fresh bait, that's what we want. Jordan's made a start too. Go, we're on to a good start there. See if we can get any more where that came from. Be nice. I've got the sleeper jig in on that rod at the moment, so I'm trying a bit of a different strategy. So I've got this big rod here that I'm casting out and sort of searching for them. Whereas this one is just going to sit here, is just going to sort of lift and drop in the, in the current and in the waves, and uh, can be a very effective way of picking up sort of two or three squid but you can get your hands very full very quickly. We're on here, he hasn't actually been hooked yet. He's still grabbing onto it. Now he's hooked. That's what you want. That is the UV sand doing what it does best yet again. Love that. And then with squid, because they hunt in packs, you want to get it straight back out there. Oh, and we're on on this one. Yeah, we're on. Oh, it's getting me. We're on on this one. Hang on. It's a good reason to have a sleeper jig, because you just get one just like that just by doing nothing because they hunt in packs and they follow each other in so how's that for a bit of a uh, bit of advice for your saturday afternoon it's easy as that and it's easy as letting a bit of line out letting that jig just sink back down and it's some of the easiest squidding that you'll ever do just like that i think so Looks a bit small. So on the board, but I think it's a little bit small, this whiting. Are you getting closer to me? Or am I dragging? I yeah, he looks a, a touch small, this fella. Unfortunately for me, fortunate enough for him. Yeah, I'm dragging. <laughs> Check. I think he's undersized. Yeah, 30 centimeters. See you later, fella. Grow nice and big for me. Onto a whiting. Looks like it'll be close to being legal here. I honestly thought it was a toady. It just didn't wake up at all during the fight. Give him a measure. He's 33. He's a keeper. Best eating size when they're about this big too. So, first one on the board. Hopefully first of many. You. Oh yes. This is a good whiting. Oh, yes, sir. Welcome aboard. 
<laughs> you that's another keeper my first one my first one wasn't my second one was and this one definitely is Apparently so. I've got a whiting. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard the whiting train. Just relax though. I know you're excited fella. Just relax. Perfect hook set again. These circles are absolutely dynamite. We'll do is we'll get a measure on him. He looks okay. Just make sure that he is. Oh. 31 is one centimetre under size and I've got a fish. I've got a Tommy just by sitting my rod in the rod holder and doing nothing. Got an extra, <laughs> an extra large Tommy, how about it? Undersized whiting, goes back. Extra large Tommy comes in. Welcome aboard. Hooked him through the eyeball. See if we can get another one just by dangling it in. I'd rather an extra large whiting than an extra large Tommy, but oh my God, there are so many. Oh, sounder. My sounder is going nuts. There's so many Tommies down there. Another baby whiting. I'm onto a good whiting here, George. Yes, sir. Yo! Jordan, you gotta get down there, mate. There's fucking whiting everywhere. That's a fuck. That's a thumper. Look at him. Yo! How good. It's what we like to see. Big fat things. Oh, it's a whiting. There we go. Yeah. That's as soon as the bait hit the bottom. Another keeper. Two. 
the back eye there, it was like 32 and a half. We take that. Now there's a garfish on my bait again. Oh, that almost surface smacked my bait. Let's go. Dude, that, like if we had gents, bag out and gar. No worries. <laughs> That's not a bad size bluey either. Oh, that, oh, you cannot say, I cannot say I've ever seen anything like that before. That is hilarious. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hello. What are you? Red mullet. Going fucking nuts. Very sandy coloured red mullet. Certainly feeding over sand. Oh, he's fucking swallowed my hook too. Oh, yes, I got it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mullet Man. In you go.